Hi, this is Ray at Austin Guitar House. Today I'm very excited. We're taking a look at the new Soldano amps. The newly updated Super Lead Overdrive 100 and the brand new Super Lead Overdrive 30 from Soldano. Let's step into our living room and check it out. Hi, this is Ray at Austin Guitar House and welcome to our living room where today I have the uh, wonderful pleasure of playing these Soldano amps. Got a 30 watt here, the SLO 30 and the SLO 100. Uh, also playing a Soar custom modern guitar. This has the uh, pretty much the same specs as the Pete Thorne uh, signature model but with a beautiful flame maple top with the matching headstock. It's a gorgeous guitar. Got that plugged into these uh, Soldano heads, plugged into a Soldano 2x12 cabinets loaded with Celestian Vintage 30s. Mike Soldano, he changed the world with these amplifiers. Um, he made his first one in 1986. I think he formally went into business back in 1987. When he came out with his amps back then, it everyone bought one. I mean, everybody. And a very diverse group of, of, of players, too, from Eric Clapton to Mark Knopfler to uh, Steve Stevens, uh, Steve Lukather, um, Lou Reed, uh, the late, great Eddie Van Halen. I can't believe I just said that. Yes, the late, great Eddie Van Halen. Mike Soldano, he set out to uh, uh, create an amp that really relied more on the preamp section to get its tone so that you can scale that up and down with a master volume and be able to get that big, huge tone at any volume. And that's what he did, and that amp took the world by storm. And here we are in 2020, uh, many, many moons later, and Mike has re-released this amp, the SLO 100, and he's uh, added a few features that, that were mods back in the day, but he's added those as, as standard features. And, um, and upgraded a few things. And then we also have a new product, the SLO 30, with the exact great preamp that is in the SLO 100, but here we have a 30 watt. Both of these amps run 5881 tubes, which is a 6L6 type tube. One of the cool things about the 30 water is that the way that Mike designed it is, um, so you know, you're running two 5881s, uh, which you can easily get 50 watts out of. 
but here he's lowering the plate voltage and we're only getting 30 watts out of here and it's kind of like what uh, Eddie Van Halen would do with his Variac, which brings down the wattage and, and changes, transforms the, uh, the nature of the amplifier. And that's kind of what's going on here. It's also a little easier on the tubes and you're gonna get a longer tube life out of that. So that's one of the cool things that he did with the SLO 30. Other than that, the preamp is exactly the same as what you have in the SLO 100, making both of these amps sound pretty much identical. Uh, you're just scaling up the power. Let's take a look at some of the tones we can get out of here and then compare them to uh, some of the tones we can get out of the, the 30 watt. So the control layout we have here, we have our input section, then we have a switch where we can switch from the overdrive to the normal channel. Which is, uh, which is a new feature. Before it was only foot switchable. Now we got the switch right on the faceplate here. We have a bright switch, bright on and off. And then we have a switch here. This is uh, for the clean or the normal channel. You can have a clean setting or a crunch setting. Right now we're in the clean and the cleans sound fantastic. <laughs> As we come in here, we have our preamp section, preamp gain, one for our normal and one for the overdrive. Then we have a three band tone stack, bass, middle and treble. Then we have our output section, our master volume for our normal channel, master volume for the overdrive channel. Then we have our global presence and this is a new global depth control. That previously was a, um, an added modification that uh, Soldano offered. Now it is a standard feature, which is great. <laughs> So here we are in the clean, in the normal channel, in the clean setting. Super clean, got tons of headroom on here. I'm gonna flick it over to the crunch setting. Got the initial normal gain at five. Tone stacks at 12 o'clock all the way across. Great classic rock tone, very plexi-like. Um, yeah, I love this setting. So here I am in the uh, normal channel, but in the crunch mode, uh, and the guitar's volume pulled back and it cleans up just the same as if I was in the clean setting itself. Except when you run it like this, you have the advantage of cranking it back up and you're right there. I'm gonna uh, take that normal gain, that preamp gain, and push it a little bit here. For me, I love that. So that's with the uh, the preamp gain on that normal channel set to crunch. We got that about eight. Let's push that all the way to 10. <laughs>
It's big, it's powerful, it's bold, but it's clear. I can hear every single note. This thing sounds amazing. All right, well now for some fun. Let's go over to the uh, Overdrive channel. <laughs> This amp is too much fun. Here we are in the uh, overdrive channel. I have the preamp gain set. It's not even at three. It's like barely over two. And we have all this wonderful gain. Right now we have the tone stack. It's uh, they're all at noon, so it's not really doing much. And it still sounds great even at this setting. The master volume I have set at uh, we're just barely over one. And it's, it's rocking pretty hard in here, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty loud. Uh, but it's not, uh, it's not crazy loud. Or is it crazy loud? No, it's not crazy loud. Um, but like I said, we're barely over one. We got a lot of room to go. This, thing, this thing's got the balls. Again, the secret sauce is in the preamp section. So at any uh, output level, it still has the juice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna push up the gain a little bit and see what happens here. <laughs> That's a ton of gain right there. We're halfway up. It's not over compressed or anything like that. Um, and you can still hear all the notes. <laughs> stop there. with the gain all the way up and that was mighty fun we're going to bring the uh the the preamp gain back to five now let's start messing around with the tone sack a little bit Thank you. 
so the tone controls actually do something and it sounds fantastic. So here we have, uh, let's check out the presence on the depth here. Yeah, so between the presence, the depth, and the three-band EQ, you can do some uh, very powerful tone sculpting here. That was the SLO 100. Let's go over here. Let's plug into the uh, SLO 30 and check this guy out. All right, so here we are plugged into the Soldano SLO 30, plugged into the clean channel on the, uh, the normal channel rather, in the clean setting. <laughs> Look that bright switch on. Sounds beautiful. Let's move over to the crunch setting. Crunch setting with the preamp gain on five, halfway up. The tone stack's all the way, or, or it's all halfway up. There, it's all at noon. Normal channel, crunch mode. <laughs> So even in the crunch mode, it cleans up great when you back off your volume. Let's crank that uh, preamp gain. That's awesome. That is awesome. Let's go over to the overdrive channel. I'm going to start off with the overdrive gain at two. <laughs> Two, there's plenty of gain there. Plenty. I'm gonna bring it down a little. So even at very modest gain settings on that uh, overdrive channel, still sounds cool.
All right, let's play around with the EQ a little bit. SLO 30 basically is the SLO 100, just in a 30 watt version. Both amps are really easy to play, uh, really easy to dial up, great tones. And it is super, super versatile. From the normal channel, clean setting, to the crunch, and then you got the overdrive uh, channel um, with very powerful EQs and a master volume that works great. If you need the power, go with the SLL 100. If you want that Soldano sound in a smaller package, in a more manageable uh, wattage, definitely go with the SLO 30. You won't be disappointed. Well, thank you very much for watching our quick overview of the new SLO series from Soldano Amps. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and contact us at AustinGuitarHouse.com to get your hands on a Soldano amp today.